Um, yeah, we recently published um, uh, some findings. We are at the Monsignor School of Medicine conducting a prospective registry of uh, COVID-19 patients, uh, evaluating uh, the long-term effects of COVID. And one of the issues we were interested in is to understand how lasting is uh, natural immunity after infection with the virus. Uh, so we studied a cohort uh, of uh, around 700 patients that were um, seen at different times post COVID and you know, none of them were vaccinated. And we found that um, the percentage of patients that have high titers, titers that have been correlated with um, protective immunity in in vitro studies uh, was relatively high, um, ranging from around 80 to over 90%, more than a year after infection. Um, so um, while we did not specifically evaluate rates of reinfection in these patients, we found that most of them seem to be protected. We also found that patients that have more severe infection uh, requiring hospitalization were more likely to have high titers you know, over time. Um, in terms of um, waning immunity, you know, reports uh, have been um, mixed, uh, but in general show that, you know, several months to a year um, or a bit over a year post-infection titers remained relatively high. Um, now, you mentioned how to interpret this in the context of new variants and increasing rates. Um, well, we do not know for sure. There is some data from experiments in vitro, not in, in vivo, uh, in the in a lab, which show that um, in, that the natural immunity against um, COVID infection with the alpha variant, which was early infection, uh, is still protective of, for the delta variant, but maybe less so than from the original virus. So it's possible that over time, some patients that were infected but not vaccinated, maybe at increasing risk of getting reinfected, particularly with new um, variants. And you know that finding suggests that vaccination, even from patients that had the infection, is probably warranted. 